Good morning, William and Mary. Wherever you're tuning in from, let's bring it in. Thank you for joining us for today's employee recognition ceremony. Hosting this ceremony virtually is another first for us this year. So I want to begin by saying briefly why it is so important that we celebrate today. A student recently wrote to me about his experiences this spring, and he said, sometimes the only way to feel better is to lift another person up. As a university and as a nation, we've experienced incredible challenges and loss this spring. Personal losses, concern for loved ones, loss of daily hallway check-ins with colleagues, loss of safety, and shared losses in person May commencement, retirement celebrations. In recent weeks, we've continued to see the ways that racism and injustice do grievous harm. And we must be aware that harm does not fall equally. In recent months and weeks, though, we've also witnessed our community coming together in powerful ways, organizing fundraisers for our students, students delivering Meals on Wheels, staff hosting an amazing first ever virtual commencement, virtual teach-ins for working parents with children at home, organizing virtual vigils. Right now, when we are physically distant, it's so important to be intentional about finding opportunities to lift each other up. So thank you for helping us celebrate our coworkers today. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce William and Mary's provost, Peggy Agoris. Hello, um, and thank you for the opportunity to um, be with you today, even if it's not in person. Uh, first of all, I wanna thank you all for uh, the very warm welcome from William and Mary's faculty and staff uh, to me uh, as I arrived last year uh, for my first year as a provost. Um, unfortunately, uh, the year did not develop the way I envisioned it to develop and that the things that I was planning to do with you, looking forward to working with our wonderful faculty and students to collaborate with exceptional scientists and staff members started happening in the beginning, but um, we didn't have the opportunity to fully get to know each other very well. This the last thing I, I was envisioning that I will be doing as a first year provost would be to respond to a crisis uh, and a pandemic and circumstances that are not really ideal for us to get to know each other, to work together and to thrive together. However, what I found, I found a community that is already uh, belonging together, feeling the need to support each other. And I'm very impressed by the solidarity and enthusiasm of our colleagues during this difficult time. If you look at the values of our institution, um, they all refer to a few things that are connected to people. So our people are the, our most significant resource, our most significant um, ability to do things for the community. And looking at our values, the way that I was trying to understand what this institution stands for, I discovered that we are an institution that cares about the community, that is welcoming, that embraces diverse people and perspectives that recognizes the importance of personal growth and meaningful accomplishment, that honors um, ethics and standards, that is a community that enables all of us to treat each other with respect, that we engage not only with our immediate community, but also communities both near and far to serve the greater good. And that we really do all these things while championing intellectual agility and creativity. Now, these are not my words. These are the words that are included in our values. And I, I couldn't think of anything more poignant and compelling to share with you today that reflects what you have done that is recognized today and what I'm seeing every day in my interactions, both virtual and in person with you that, and that makes me feel so optimistic that we will emerge out of this crisis together and stronger than before. I have huge appreciation 
for everything that you do during this difficult time, but also during normal times. You are supportive, you are enthusiastic, you're loyal, and you're, you are what this institution has relied on all these years to be the institution we all love and are proud of. So thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for including me in this celebration today. And I look forward to, to getting to know you more and to working with you for greater things in our future. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Provost Agouris. Now, on to the awards. I am pleased to introduce William and Mary's Chief Human Resources Officer, Chris Lee. Welcome to the 2020 Service Awards. It is my pleasure to celebrate with you today and to thank you for your loyalty, dedication, commitment, and service to this great university. We pause today to share our gratefulness for all the contributions that each of you do every day in service to our students, our faculty, staff, and our local community. We appreciate all that has been accomplished over the past year. If we pause and take this moment to acknowledge that no organization, no team, no group succeeds alone, then we realize the power that's inherent in the idea of all of us coming together to do great things together. We are truly better together. Uh, it is the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. So today's theme really is about team, teamwork, coming together, being unified, even in times of great difficulty. As a matter of fact, in times of great difficulty, that is when your teammates matter more. Sometimes it's not their individual contributions, even though the people we'll celebrate today have done some pretty extraordinary things and have done so for a pretty long time. Those are reasons to celebrate. But sometimes teammates matter even more in the little things, and those little things include times like today, this week, this month, these past few months, when people call just to check in with you and to say nice things, how are you doing, how are you coping, is there anything I can do for you? And we are lucky, we, we are very lucky as a university to have a whole cadre of professionals who do that all the time and it matters most in times like these. So today we'll celebrate team, teamwork. No team, you know, succeeds without every team member. And whether you are kind of metaphorically a soccer player, no team would succeed without a goalie. Uh, on some teams we have superstars and all-stars who make it the limelight, like faculty. Uh, but there's also the players on the sidelines, uh, the other teammates, the, the crew, the cameramen, uh, the cheerleaders, uh, you know, the, the folks in the back office, whether it's in accounting or advancement, or the Bursar's office, or the child care center, or the dining hall. Uh, I'm going alphabetical here, no. Uh, but the truth is, there's a whole bunch of people who's working together to create this great university and have it as a great place to work. And all of us have a role to play. So today is a little bit about the unsung heroes. It's about those who do great things all of the time. And today we get the great fortune of pausing to acknowledge them and to say a few words uh, for our service to them to say, hey, thank you. We're grateful for your service. We appreciate all that you do for the university. And today we pause and celebrate. It's my pleasure uh, to be with you as your new HR manager because uh, the annual service award program to me in many ways is kind of like the faculty and staff equivalent of commencement. We pause to look back over the accomplishments of the previous year and to uh, share and acknowledge the great contributions uh, for people who've done pretty tremendous things over the past year, the past five years, 10 years, and so forth. So thank you again. We appreciate the great things you do.
to make this a great university. Everyone, please join me in giving a high five to our colleagues who have five years of service. To those of you with five years of service, thank you on behalf of the university. Our colleagues with 10 years of service deserve special recognition. Please join me in thanking those who've completed a decade of service to the university. Thank you. Let's cheer on those whose 15 years of service is duly noted, a considerable of time showing their loyalty and dedication and commitment to the mission of the university. Thank you for your service. The Y2K crowd deserves our recognition. 20 years of commitment to the university, a special group of professionals who've given two decades of service to the university. Thank you. Our students graduating this spring, the class of 2020, were not yet formed when this group of amazing professionals joined the university in the last century. 25 years of service is quite noteworthy. Please join me in a round of applause to our colleagues who've dedicated a quarter of century service to the university. Thank you. Wow, we're entering rarefied air. 30 years of service is especially noteworthy. Many professionals, 30 years is an entire career. So we would like to celebrate those who've chosen to spend their professional lives in service to our great mission, to our students, our faculty, staff, and community. We really appreciate the dedication and loyalty that you have displayed. Thank you. These professionals include Ms. Baker, thank you. Mr. Cosby, we appreciate your service. Ms. Davenport, your service has been appreciated by all of your colleagues. Betta Labanish, 30 years of service is quite noteworthy. We appreciate it.
Mr. Morrill, thank you for your service to the university. And to the Peace Brothers, we are looking forward to your next album. Mr. Shell for Peace, we appreciate your service to the university. Mr. Lonnie Peace, thank you. Jody Williams, thank you. Continuing our team spirit, teamwork, team metaphor, we're now entering our final four. The final four professionals have a combined service of much more than a century. The university's been here for a long time, and these employees have seen many generations of students come and go. We have three colleagues who have 35 years of service. First, Janet Ballantyne. William Epperson. And Delcia Horning. Thank you for your tremendous contributions to many generations of students here at William and Mary. Thank you for your loyalty, dedication, and long-standing service to the university. Our next accomplishment is so special that Marie, we're going to have to use your government name. It is noteworthy. Gwendolyn Marie Bell has 40 years of service to the university. Some of us weren't around 40 years ago. I could say that, but I have too much gray for it to be truthful. But in all seriousness, 40 years of service is noteworthy in any walk of life and we appreciate that. And you have done a quite a bit, accomplished a lot on behalf of others. We appreciate your service to the university. Thank you. Today, we pause to celebrate and say thank you for colleagues who've served from five to 40 years with the university. In good times and bad times, we often forget some things. Some things are large, some things are small, but we rarely forget the people who served alongside of us, who've showed appreciation for us, who've supported us, who've accomplished great things, who've made a difference in the lives of others. And today, we've had the opportunity to celebrate with them. And so we want to pause again to say thank you to our colleagues and their service over the last few decades. Thank you again. We appreciate you. We look forward to seeing you on campus. Now, let's invite our president to say a few remarks. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Some of you may know that Senior VP for Finance and Administration, Sam Jones, will retire this month. Sam has stewarded William and Mary's finances with care for nearly three and a half decades. During that time, he has served as a partner to five William and Mary presidents, including me, these past two years. I'm especially grateful, therefore, that given the current challenges we face, Sam has promised still more effort on behalf of William and Mary beyond July 1st. He will direct our fall COVID-19 operations. In May, I asked the Board of Visitors to rename the College Apartments Building 
the Samuel E. Jones House in recognition of his service, and they unanimously agreed. I want to close with a powerful line from that resolution that speaks to the collegiality and the kindness Sam brings to all his work. Sam is motivated above all by the university's mission and the human beings who comprise it, not by the numbers that he spends every day with. VP Jones, would you please say a few words? To all of our employees out there who are receiving service awards, whether they be for five years or 10 years or more than 30 years, thank you for your service to William and Mary and for all that you've done for our students, our faculty, and your fellow staff members. When I first came here as a student in 1971, it didn't take me long to realize that my success as a student depended on more than just the faculty. Whether it was the person who helped me with my financial aid and my finances as I worked my way through the institution, those folks who worked in information technology, which at that point you know, would have been called academic computing, and they were working with punch cards and showing me how to do those, or whether it was the kind words that I got from someone in the dining hall that just sort of gave you an, an uplifting effort when you needed it. I learned very quickly that staff and the support they give was critical to our success. When I came back in 1986 to work at William and Mary, been here ever since, but when I came back then, I learned quickly that that philosophy of staff support for our faculty, staff support particularly for our students and then for their, their fellow staff was really important and was something that really brought great benefit to us. So I was glad to see that over that time period we would not lost that. And now here we are in 2020. It's a time of, that I hate to say is unprecedented in terms of what we're going through, but that's about the best word that we can use. So as we deal with the COVID-19 pandemic, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you to the folks who pivoted very quickly, learned how to telework from home with all the distractions that might have, but were able to support our students and get us through this semester and have a very successful conferring of degrees a couple of weeks ago. But also thankful to those folks who are here on campus that look at uh, every day, they maintain our buildings, they are cleaning our buildings. Uh, IT is supporting the people who are providing the class efforts to our students at both through this year and as we go through the summer. And then again, just to our police force and the security that they're providing for those. So thank you to all of our employees who have really had to deal with something that we have not seen before. Again, I just thank everyone and congratulate everyone for their multiple years of service here at William and Mary and look forward to when you have this event a year from now and everybody can have it uh, together. Thank you much. Thank you and congratulations, Sam. And thank you all for joining us today. I wanna to end on a personal note of appreciation for your steadfast care your patience and generative ideas, your notes and advice. Your partnership means so much to me and your solidarity with one another means so much for William and Mary's future as we navigate these uncharted waters together. I look forward to being with you on campus in person again soon, as soon as we can come together safely. Stay well. <laughs>